about tax loopholes, for example. But ultimately, uh, she told her members uh, this morning uh, that they should hold their nose and vote for it. That's not actually uh, the precise term she used. Uh, well, we'll take a listen. So this morning, you told your members to embrace the suck. <laughs> Embrace the suck. That's a quote. First of all, before I get to the, the substance of the bill, where did you get that from? I think it really captured the moment. Do you think? Oh, I'm not criticizing it. It seems to sum up what you think of this legislation. Well, it's not just the legislation. It's the whole process and the fact that you don't have enough employment insurance and those kinds of things. But at the end of the day, we need to have the budget. So what we decided was that our, our approach would be to... You're not going to say it's the same. Embrace, embrace the suck. Okay. Embrace the suck. She, she, got the, she got the expression from a former Pennsylvania Congressman Patrick Murphy, who was an Iraq War veteran, uh, and knows about days, months, years that suck. And uh, as she also noted that voting for this is not half as sucky as that. Of course, she wouldn't use that term, but that was her implication. Tapper, the eloquence you bring to my show. You, you and Leader Pelosi, I really imagine. I'm just voting. I'm just voting public officials. People say things and I vote them. You can tell me if you want, but I'm just the messenger. And if that is just a sliver of this interview, we will all tune in on the link to watch more of this interview with Nancy Pelosi embracing the stuff on the link for Black Easter. Thanks, you two. I appreciate it. I want to keep voting. Jersey like that in my size, but I can't find one anywhere. Yeah, you should definitely check out Fanatics.com. 